Hi guys, and welcome back to Sutty Live. I've had an idea for a new feature, quick, dirty OBS tutorials. First one, how to fade a source in and out and make it look professional, okay? This is gonna be using the Move Transition OBS plugin, the links down below. Let's jump straight in. If you've seen my previous video, you'll know that I love using uh, nested scenes. So let's create one of those for the webcam to begin with. We'll call it webcam. Try that again with correct spelling. Um, if we add, I've just got some mock-ups at the moment. So rather than using live sources, you'll see what I mean. It'll just keep things nice and simple. So we've got a webcam still. Make sure it's unloaded when not showing. Who's that handsome fella there? And then we will also add a fake capture card, which again is just another still. Make sure that that's ticked to unload as well. Always a good habit to get into. Right, let's nest the webcam scene. Resize it to however big you want it. Let's say we're gonna put the webcam just there. Okay, so at the moment, if you were to turn the webcam on and off, it does this. Functional, does the job. What if you wanted it to fade? So, going to filters, first thing we're gonna do is add a color correction filter. What this has, it has the opacity slider, which at 100 is fully opaque and at zero disappears. So all we're gonna do is use the Move Transition plugin to control that for us on a keybind. So add a new filter, Move Value. We'll call this one Fade In. The filter that it's gonna affect is a color correction filter. The setting it's gonna adjust is opacity. We're gonna set the opacity to 100, i.e. fully opaque, and we're gonna make it do it over 2,000 milliseconds. We're then gonna duplicate it, and we're gonna call this one Fade Out. The opacity this time is gonna be zero, and again, over 2,000. Now, what you should see is by clicking Fade Out, it'll fade out, by clicking fade in, it'll fade in. Now, don't get me wrong, there's so much more to this plugin, right? But for what we're wanting, that's it, you're done. The last thing to do, go into your settings, go into your hotkeys, come down to your scene, and then find the two new filters you've created. Fade in, we're gonna bind to numpad plus, fade out, numpad minus, apply, and okay. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You press minus, it triggers the fade out over 2000 milliseconds. You press plus, fades it back in. How easy is that? Thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next one.